Hi, this is Olga from My Crochet Space and today I would like to show you how to crochet this shawl or wrap. I'm using two stitches here, puff stitch and double crochet. And the yarn I'm using here is Karen Skinny Cakes. I've used two skeins of yarn here. And the size of the shawl is 19 inches wide and 64 inches long. We're going to need two sizes of hooks. Uh, one is six millimeter for the foundation chain and the other one five millimeter hook for the rest of the shawl. So let's start. Let's take our six millimeter hook and chain 73. The reason I'm using two sizes and the bigger size for the foundation chain is because it will provide a little bit more stretch because foundation chains tend to be slightly tighter than the rest of the project. And because the rest of the shawl is quite stretchy, you will feel the difference. Now I have changed 73 chains and I swap my hook and I get the 5mm hook to continue with the next row. So we are starting our puff stitches, yarn over and insert your hook into the fourth chain from the hook and pull up a loop and yarn over again and insert into the same stitch and pull up a loop and again pull up a loop so three times in total and you should have seven loops on your hook and then pull through all the loops and chain one to secure the puff stitch so let's do it again let's skip one chain and we work the next puff stitch into the next after that so we skip one chain and work the next puff stitch into the next after that yarn over insert your hook into the next chain after you skip one and yarn over and pull through three times so you'll have seven loops on your hook again and then pull through all the loops and chain one to secure the puff stitch and now we'll skip one again and work the next puff stitch into the next chain after that so yarn over and pull through three times Yarn over again and pull through all the loops and chain one to finalize the puff stitch. So we've got three puff stitches now and so we continue the until the end of this chain working puff stitches every second into every second chain. So you skip one and you work the next puff stitch into the next one after that and you should have 35 puff stitches in total at the end of this chain now I'm almost at the end of the chain so I skip one and work my last puff stitch for this row And now I still have one chain left. So I'll work one double crochet into the last chain. So we finished our first row and now we chain two, turn our work and work a double crochet into the first stitch, which is just above the puff stitch. 
your last puff stitch that's our first stitch so as you can see the little V shaped stitches on top of the row so you can see each stitch individually so we're gonna work into the very first V on top of the puff stitch that's our first double crochet and after that we're gonna work into each stitch one double crochet into every single stitch which is on top of the puff stitch and also in between the puff stitches so yarn over and insert your hook into the very first stitch and pull through yarn over pull through two and pull through the last two that's one double crochet our next double crochet goes just next to the first one in between the puff stitches so insert your hook into that stitch and work a double crochet the next double crochet goes into the next stitch again on top of the puff stitch inside of that stitch and that's our third double crochet and so we continue working double crochets into every single stitch until the end of this row and you should have 71 stitches in total in this row that's including the first two chains when you chain two in the beginning that counts as a first stitch now i'm at the end of the second row and the very last double crochet goes into the turning chain just here on top and that will make 71 stitches in this row and that's the end of the row number two now we chain two again and start row number three. The row number three will be puff stitches again. So it will repeat itself, the two rows, puff stitches and double crochets for the rest um, of the project. So we start with puff stitches here. And again, we find our first stitch, which is on top of the second double crochet here and insert your hook into that stitch the very first stitch after the chain two so work a puff stitch there three times yarn over and pull up a loop and again yarn over and pull through all seven loops and chain one that's our first puff stitch and then again we skip one skip one stitch and work a puff stitch into the next one and just a little tip if you find it hard to pull through seven loops because it's quite a lot of loops you have to pull through try to make your puff stitches a little bit taller that will help the hook to pass through all the loops so if you pull up a loop a little bit taller then it will be easier to glide through so let's um, this is the second one let's do that this is third time and now that I'm pulling it up and they're right a little bit taller it's really easy to pull through all the seven loops so you can try that whenever you get frustrated with your half stitches and now we just continue until the end of this row working half stitches in every second stitch so every row is every two rows are the same the half stitch row is uh, every second stitch so you skip one and work a puff stitch to the next stitch and the double crochet row, a row is working double crochets in every single stitch so here i'm at the end of row three 
and again I skip one and work my last puff stitch thirty five in total again and as you can see there is a turning chain the last one I work a double crochet into the last stitch which is a turning chain so we always work double crochets into the turning chains and so you continue with this pattern it's two rows always the same rows puff stitches and double crochets on top you always chain two in the beginning of the row and you always work a double crochet at the end of every row into the turning chain so here i can show you again the double crochet row but it's really it really is the same as row number two let's do it again and we chain two and work the first double crochet into the first stitch after your chain two into the first stitch on top of the puff stitch so this is our first double crochet and same as in row number two we will work double crochets into every stitch after that in between the puff stitches and on top of the puff stitches and continue with this pattern until you reach the desired length of your shawl and here I've done 143 rows all together and this is my last stitch my last puff stitch and also the last double crochet I have finished with the same row I started with so it's the puff stitch row to make to make it uh, look the same the two sides of the show and now we can finish off and weave in all the ends I have all the written instructions on my website I will put a link into the description below and if you like the video and would like to see more of my new patterns and designs subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching